News 18, weather from where you live. Well, one cold front has gone through today, but there's another one off to the west. But in between, it is pretty breezy and it's quite warm and clear, pretty much from Lafayette all the way out to Wyoming. And that's the kind of weather we're going to have for a few days until this system does come in and bring some periodic showers and storms Thursday night, Friday, and then gradually ending on Saturday. But tonight, though, and early tomorrow morning, some areas of fog will be possible. Uh, then it turns mostly sunny, warms up into the 70s tomorrow, but we're back to the 80s on Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All those days in the 80s this week, but the rainfall potential will return Thursday night and again, taper off by Saturday. Then it turns cooler, and I, I do think there still will be some frost around October, about the 10th through the 14th before it warms up. After that, high rest future cast does paint some of the areas of fog in the viewing area tonight. Again, this gray indicates that low level moisture for fog, but notice how it kind of burns off pretty rapidly tomorrow morning. So uh, tomorrow morning, watch for perhaps some reduced visibility in places and also perhaps some patchy low cloudiness, but then it becomes mostly sunny. But tomorrow night, the same process may develop again. You can see some uh, fog and perhaps some areas of low clouds that develop. That's early on Tuesday morning, and then it kind of burns off once again for a nice warm Tuesday and even Tuesday night. Perhaps a little patchy fog, but not as much. We'll have some up here in the upper Wabash Valley. There are the 40s tonight, though. 44 Burlington up to Logansport, 47 Lafayette, and 46 at Monticello. Tomorrow itself looks very good, about 74 to 78 for the high, 77 Lafayette, 76 at Monticello and 75 Burlington and Camden and warmer still on Tuesday. Winds out of the south and the southwest cranking up a little bit. 82 Lafayette, 83 Rensselaer and Remington and about 80 degrees at Burlington. That system comes in later on in the week and by Thursday night, one wave, a few scattered showers and storms will pass through, but I think they'll be more, uh, more widespread on Friday, specifically late Friday into Friday night where we may have a little band or a line of showers and storms pass through. Now, the severe weather threat is nearby. It's going to be west of here, but we'll have to keep an eye on the conditions here. This may be expanded into the viewing area or, uh, viewing area, or maybe not. We're going to be analyzing data over the next few days to see if we do expand that. But I do think there's a good bet for uh, a squall line, widespread severe thunderstorms out in the plains. And the system lifts northward, but even into Saturday, a few patchy showers around gradually tapering off. I think we'll still have a lot of clouds on su uh, next Sunday. And then after that, high pressure comes in and eventually we'll get a little light frost around here. The first 30s of the season, 70 forecast. There's the 77 tomorrow, the 82 on Tuesday, 83 Wednesday and a nice 84 on Thursday. But Thursday night into Friday, even Friday night, periodic showers and storms. But Saturday, the high of 66 will most likely be early in the day. Then we fall to about 61 or 2 in the afternoon and a high of only 62 on Sunday. So much more like October as we get into late next weekend. And unfortunately for the frenzy, we may have storms to deal with on Friday evening. So hopefully we can tailor that forecast right. a little bit. We're, we're you know, counting on yeah. you, Chad, to, yeah, we'll to keep the rain do. away. But it, 